Hello everybody, welcome back to Lions Family Farms. It's Friday afternoon here and I'm gonna go out here to out at the silos where we have our one conveyor where we are gonna be dumping silage into next spring whenever we make some ag bags. So I need to go out there and it's kind of a, a wet hole, kind of uneven. What I'm gonna do is take the skid loader out with the big bucket, spray paint can and mark a road where I want to put shale in and then I got to dig a little ditch. You'll see. I'll explain it when we get out there. Okay, so here's the plan that I thought up in my head. I've been thinking about this quite a, quite a while. So we're going to drive the skid loader in here and I'm going to build this road right where I'm standing and we're going to cut the top of this conveyor off. Well, this stuff and build a hopper like a funnel sort of thing to dump halogen into. So that's how that's gonna work. But see here, I already drove in and it's dry out and solid juice. There's our pipe. So I need to dig a ditch and then build this up to kind of redirect the juice. So then we can um, build a road. So I'm gonna get my spray paint can here and mark some stuff, get some stuff figured out. Maybe we'll dig a little bit today. I don't know might start Monday it's one o'clock hate to get into a project I can't finish all right did some rough painting here here's the edge here's an edge build this up here's the ditch I'm gonna dig relatively simple I think till I start doing this there's some good limestone under this stuff you can see I dug some up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the shovel in. I dug all the topsoil out where the road's gonna be. We're gonna put shale in this. Not gonna get to that today. But, I'm just making sure everything's level. I still need to cut a little more off this top, level it up, and then we'll put shale back in where the topsoil was. Well, today is Monday. I just called the local trucking guy. He's gonna drop off a load of shale instead of me going and dig around in our, our shale pit and not get, not get good stuff. So I'm gonna go spray paint where I want him to dump that. And I'll need to put the key in the floor below. And then I'm probably just gonna do some more weed whacking and clean it up. But we'll get onto that project maybe later today. I'm not exactly sure when he's gonna bring it. I told him no rush. Same can of paint I used the other day. All right, we got our boards up. I might dig a little more topsoil out here just to wind her up. Time to get the skid loader.
what we got going on. Just gonna do some finishing touches on this tomorrow up here. Maybe pack this a little more than it is now. Yeah, I packed it pretty good. But I'll get rid of this dirt pile and we'll be working on that before too long and you'll see. You'll see what I have envisioned. But we will pick back up tomorrow. I'm feeling pretty good about this project here. I dug out all this garbage, got kind of a little trench, and then the silo juice out of here will run down the trench to the drain. So everything, everything's coming together, I guess. I got this road packed in pretty good. If it gets too hot later, I'll load up some shale and I'm just gonna back over this for all afternoon. Maybe. Now we're gonna shovel this loose dirt into the bucket. Because uh, it's pretty much wrapped up. We don't need all this dirt along the edge here. Shovel. Should get a spade one. But. Yeah, actually, we're going to get a spade one. Back with a spade shovel. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna call this 100% complete for now. Uh, you know, it's gonna be a little bit till we actually use it, so I might do some touch-up work closer to the time, or add some more shell, or we'll see what the weather does to it, which I think won't be a too big of a deal. But it's pretty, pretty smooth. Could be a little smoother, but it's best it's gonna get for these big chunks of shale. So. Now we're going to be building, you'll see my plans, I got a plan, you'll see. So after lunch, I'm going to work on taking the, uh, that shale pile down there to the shed, because it's too hot to do anything else. I am, um, for kicks and giggles, I looked at the weather down in like South Carolina. It's like 10 degrees cooler than it is here. What's up with that? We're in Pennsylvania. I don't know, it's probably more humid down there. See you in the next one. Subscribe, please.